It's Diana from Really Do It Yourself here. Today we're going to be making origami bunnies. Like these adorable little bunnies here. And these are made with regular post-its, so three by three. You can make them with origami paper, you can cut your own paper, colored paper. This cardstock is a little bit difficult, so I'm just going to do them today on uh, post-its, like I said. And then also we're going to paint on canvas, so little bunnies as well on canvas. I will show you how to do these and I, I will provide the little template for you. So this is the little template that we're going to use. You're going to need double sided tape, you're going to need paint, a paintbrush. Um, I'm using toothpicks for my dots and like I mentioned before you're going to need post-its or any page, any square sheet. Okay, It has to be a, an exact square in order for this to work out. A pair of scissors, sharpie, a pen or a pencil so that you could draw everything in. And I, that's about it, so let's begin. Okay, let's begin. We're going to make the little origami bunnies. So you're gonna take a regular post-it. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna fold it like this. And you wanna make sure you crease your edges just so it's easier for you, and then you want to take it apart. You want to go the other way. And it's a little tricky because it has the little sticky stuff on the post-it, but that's fine. We're going to put that towards the inside. We're just doing the first fold. Okay, so you want to fold like this. Okay, here we are. And now what we're going to do is we're going to take it and we're going to put the sticky side inside, okay? So just be very careful. We're going to follow those lines. And so basically you want to do this in half. And again, crease. And then what we're going to do here is we're going to fold this piece up. Okay, it's going to look like a little hat. So you see here? And then you see, I still see the little fold that I have there. What you want to do is you're going to pick up one piece and you're going to put it, fold it right where that line is. Okay? And you're going to do the same thing with the other piece and fold it again where that line is. Okay? So you should have something that looks like this. Then what we're going to do is we're going to fold the top, and you don't want to fold it too, too down. Okay, so you see, so it's almost level with the back. And then what you can do is fold the bottom as well. So this one here, I'm going to actually put on the table to fold it. It's a little harder. Keep this together, and then you're going to make the fold. That's what makes them stand up. See how easy that is? And I love to fold the little ear down. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take our pen, and we're going to make the eyes. So you can unfold the bottom and make the eyes. And you can make the nose. And you want to use the middle line. Oh, I think my pen, my marker is running out. Okay. Take my Sharpie, and I know he looks a little weird, but they're all so cute. You can put some whiskers. And again, fold that, and there he is. So beautiful. Okay, let's do that again. I'm going to take our post-it side to the back. And remember you can use any square sheet of paper. Okay, now we're going to put the sticky piece inside. Okay, we're going to fold up a piece here. Oh, it actually looks like a little bolt as well. So there you are. And now we're going to take this piece and fold it. And lay it right on that line. And we're going to do the same thing for the other side. Take the piece and fold it right on that line. And again, you should crease your ends. And see there? How quick and simple is that? Now we're going to fold this down just a little bit. Okay. 
And then what we're going to do is we're going to fold the bottom piece here. So let's put that one down as we fold, since we have to press firmly there. We have to make sure it's going to stand. It's going to stand. And now let's get our pencil, pen, whatever you have, and let's make our face. get our marker and we're gonna color in his nose and also what you want to do is pick this up and color in his ears okay and then what we want to do is put it back fold that piece down and then you could take and fold the little corners of the ears and if you want you could put some whiskers if not you can leave them just like this and there you are. Aren't they adorable? I absolutely love them. Okay, let's move on now to our painted canvases. Okay, now for our painted canvases. Okay, these are the three samples I have. And they come in packs like this at your local uh, craft store. They're 3x3 three three mini canvas. This is a 5 pack. Um, so now also you can put them on... These little easels, these are adorable, they, they're sold separately, but you can put them on the little easel to display them. See how adorable that is? Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to start off, we're going to start with the dot, with the one with the dots, okay? So what you're going to do is you're going to need your little template, and this I cut from an old cereal box. You're going to need your double-sided tape, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of double-sided tape on the back. So I'm going to put two little pieces, and you would not believe it, but I bought this big roll of double-sided tape at the 99 cent store. Okay. So we're going to peel this off. And then what we're going to do is we're going to place this on our canvas. So wherever you like on your canvas, you'll place your little bunny. And then what we do is I use any craft paint. This is a multi-surface paint that I bought at um, my local craft store. And like I mentioned before, I'm going to be using toothpicks. So what I did with the toothpicks was I cut off the ends. You see they're very pointy, so I cut off one of the ends. And now... What you want to do is you're going to dip it in paint and you're just going to go around so you could just make a bunch of little dots all around your bunny. And as you saw on my display there, I use a lot of different colors to go around the edge. This is just so you get the idea of how I did it. So I'm doing it mostly in orange. And then I'll switch off to another color. So basically I'm just dipping it in the paint. I don't want to show you guys that I cheat, but I dip this way. Don't tell anyone. Um, so you want to dip it in the paint and just go around whatever figure you have there. Now I'm going to switch off to another color. And yes, I do the exact same thing. So I'm going to do it with some red. I didn't leave much space, did I? To put red dots. But that's fine. I think his whole outline is there. So then what you want to do is you want to just start putting dots all over your canvas. 
And this is very easy. This is very relaxing for us adults. It's very good for the children. They're not really going to make a mess. And it turns out it's going to be such a beautiful pattern. Okay, now let's go on to a different color just to add some color to it. paint all over my fingers. It's also a great gift idea. They can gift it to their grandparents, their friends, put in someone's Easter basket just to brighten their day. Let us see how this turned out. What you want to do is you want to let it dry a little bit before you go and do the unveiling. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to do the unveiling because as you know, it's going to look like this one here. Don't pay attention to my fingers. I was having fun. So what we're going to do here is again, you're going to let it dry. So make sure that it dries before you go and peel it off. I'll try to touch this little area here and see. There you are. You can see the whole outline of the peep. Uh, obviously, you can see it much better here because it has a lot of different colors. But like I said, you would take your time with your painting. I think it's adorable. It's fantastic. And if you want, you can actually put the little eyes and the little nose, just like you would see in the regular peep like this, and do that little so that people see that it's a peep. It's not just the back of the peep. So there you go. You have that one. And now I'm going to show you how to make this one which is even easier. Let me get a canvas here and I'm going to use the same exact bunny. So we're going to put it there. And now what you're going to do is you're going to need a paintbrush. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to paint the bottom green. So we're going to take with our little bunny there, you just want to go, and you could go right over your template. You should make several templates. Okay. So there you are. I have the green already there. You want to try to use as little paint as possible. That's what happened here. I got a little excited, but it looks pretty nice with the outline. So I did the outline after it dried. Okay, so now I'm going to take my blue. And I'm going to do the top. And keep in mind that you can make this any color you like. The children can make it any color. You get creative. And just if you want to make it just one single color, you can. If you want to just put, like I said, it's your design. So however you think is best, that's what you do. And you just want to make sure, try to make sure that it doesn't lift up. So that's why I'm putting very little paint now, making it look like a natural sky. Oh, see over there, it's lifting up. Okay. Okay, and there we are. Beautiful. It's a masterpiece. And the same thing, you want to make sure that it's dried completely before you lift up, but I can always fix them later, so I'm just going to pick it up so that you see what it looks like. See? So these were the two samples right now. And as you see, since I'm picking it up when it's not dry, that's why it's transferring the color from the template. And there you are. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you make lots and lots of bunnies. Tag me on social media, and I will see you the next time. Thank you for watching. Bye.